Okay, so you think you are ADHD, but how do you even know? Well, one of the biggest symptoms was I couldn't get through an entire paragraph without having to start over because I couldn't remember what was actually being said at the very beginning of the paragraph in order to be able to comprehend what was going on in the second paragraph. But that just sounds like you're being lazy and not actually paying attention to what you're reading, not something that would be ADHD. Isn't ADHD like being too talkative and fidgety all the time? Sure, if I'm a six-year-old boy, but I'm a 33-year-old woman, and symptoms for ADHD are very different between women and men and boys and girls and male and female and people with a period and people who don't have a period. Oh, I didn't know that ADHD is different for every single person. Yeah, mental health is nuanced. Mental health disorders and illnesses are different for every single person. It's individualized to the patient, which is why healthcare needs to be so incredibly impactful for the individual and not treat people as a whole. Because if we treated ADHD the way for women, the way that we treat ADHD for boys, treatment would be very different and women would be suffering more greatly than they actually are right now. Oh, okay, well, how do I know what I should be saying and, and how do I help other people understand that ADHD is nuanced and different for everybody and that we should be treating people based on their individual symptoms rather than treating them on symptoms that are based on a whole group? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. You can actually share this information with friends that you have and people that you know. Share this stuff on social media. Talk about it in your friend groups. Talk about it with your family members. And make sure that your mental health professional is understanding that symptoms are different for everybody and that mental health is a nuanced thing.